514, your time. Before we talk weather, uh, Leland's got a little swag with him. Yeah. 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 What's a good cool? gift for our weather guy? Whoa. That's perfect. Yeah. Not, yeah. So it's actually a uh, gift from the Boy Scouts, the okay. Middle Tennessee Council oh, nice. of Boy Scouts. Yesterday they held their annual Eagle Scout and Volunteer Reception. And uh, for the last couple of years, I have been the uh, Eagle Scout recruiting mentor chair and basically what that means is all these scouts several hundred in this council mm -hmm. are being recognized for getting uh their re their rank of eagle scout Damn. and so the eagle scout uh, mentors actually kind of help fund this so this is a free event uh for their uh, family and friends uh will holden former vanderbilt player and nfl player there uh with roland uh, myers who was the uh, chair of the event and uh, the cool thing is these are people from all over the middle tennessee area who for the last year have worked on getting their Eagle Scout rank uh, something that only 4% of scouts get. Wow. But also they recognize other volunteers, including uh, awarding the Silver Beaver Award, which is the highest rank that a local council mm -hmm. can give to an wow. adult volunteer. I was honored myself to receive that uh, several years ago. So uh, those scouts there provided about 36,000 hours wow. of community service uh, in the last calendar year. So wow. congratulations uh, to all mm -hmm. of them. Four percent. Yeah. Four percent. Yes. I mean, this is truly the cream, the cream of the crop. Exactly. And you saw yes. how many there were. Yes. Mm -hmm. What an Yeah, honor. Middle Tennessee has the largest, probably the largest council, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. annually, the largest group of Eagle Scouts uh, every year. Oh, yeah. cool. That's yeah. something to be awesome. proud of. Yeah, definitely. We so. need that when you walk in, you know, uh. drive into the state of Tennessee uh -huh. to have that underneath it. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, big sign. Yeah. So are you going to need that umbrella maybe, today? Maybe yeah. need it uh, later yeah. today, but right now it is dry. It is dry and very warm. Oh, look at those clouds. How pretty is it this morning? Right now, coming in on a Monday, Mercy's are new. Current temperature, 66 out there. And you can tell that we do have quite a bit of cloud cover, but we're still seeing some sunshine that will be peeking through shortly. Right now over in Lawrenceburg, love seeing y'all this weekend. Current temperature, 64 to start off your morning. Now the Power 5 radars, we're just picking up ground clutter. This isn't anything to write home about. No moisture is currently falling, but you get outside of our little bubble and you will notice we do have quite a bit of precipitation just off to our west, including our northwest as well as our southwest. It looks as if we could lasso that in and it'd be here in a matter of hours, but it's going to take a little bit of time to move its way here. But we have got the proper recipe in store. We are accommodating this rain and we are ready for it. Once it gets here, it's not going to have to do too much other than just allow that rain to fall because not only are our temperatures mild, widespread 60s, our winds are coming in out of our south and that is aiding and fueling our environment, making our dew points quite nice and high. So everything is set up. We are ready. We could have a few showers early on to our far north and west, but the main rain event where we're all looking to have some sort of precipitation, that's not looking to take place until this evening. So ahead of it, temperatures will be on the rise. Look for us to be 79 degrees at lunchtime. After lunch, we're going to be heading into the lower side of those 80s. It really will be varying location to location. Now the rain itself, you will notice throughout the day, right around 20%, the bulk of that being to the west. But as we head around sunset, Leland, that's when the rain showers really ramp up, especially overnight tonight. And we're looking at some pretty impressive rain totals when all is said and done. Yeah, some spots could get over an inch maybe an inch and a half, but that will be some needed rainfall because we are running a deficit for the month and for the year. But right now we check out our viewpoint down on Broadway, Agme Feet and Seed. It is a mild 68 degrees for the start of our day, so not bad to get out and walk the dog this morning. This is Knox. Like all of us, Knox hoping for a little better outcome uh, with those games over the weekend, courtesy of Sandy Manning there. Uh, green power right now, as we get to mid to late afternoon, we'll start to change that from more of a green paw to a yellow paw just because of increasing rain chances. But even as clouds roll in, temperatures back into the 80s for today. 83 Nashville, maybe thicker clouds will keep Camden, Clarksville just a degree or two cooler. 79 Cookville, 78 back over toward Crossville. Our high in Nashville today of 83, so that's still running above where we ought to be for today, the record 91 from 2017. So this morning, you're good to do yard work. We'll go yellow for late day. 
wet grass tomorrow morning, but then improving by tomorrow afternoon. So here's exact track. 8 o'clock this morning, not much. By midday, you may get a stray shower here or there, especially back over the west state. Then by 3 o'clock, maybe a few showers over middle Tennessee, south central Kentucky. But this is 7 o'clock. There's the main line. So a lot of this doesn't move into our area until after midnight. This is the midnight hour right here. This is 2 a.m. And then by daybreak, a lot of this is east. Still maybe a few showers in the morning and then gradually decreasing clouds. So for today on our seven day, we're at 83 today, 82 tomorrow, 85 going into Wednesday and staying in the 80s for several days. I mean, well above average as we make our way throughout the rest of our work week. Drier conditions as we make our way into Thursday. Clouds are going to start to increase ahead of our next system as we make our way into parts of Friday. Some scattered activity Saturday. Temperatures slightly decreasing into the upper 70s as we make our way closer into the weekend. But I tell you what, we've mm -hmm. had a very warm week ahead in this rain. Very much so beneficial. You were discussing the deficit. Yes. I mean, we do need some liquid sunshine.